Hello boys and girls, it's Lauren again with the Rainforest Art Project and I hope that you are having a wonderful day. I'm so excited because we just received a letter from Jilly Marbo who lives in the other side of the world. All right, let's take a look at this letter. Dear Rainforest Art Project, my name is Jilly Marbo and I live with my brother Max and my parents right in the centre of Australia near a flat mountain called Ayers Rock. We are Aboriginal people which means that we have lived here for many thousands of years and we call our mountain Uluru. Uluru is very sacred and we believe that this is where all life began. We can see Uluru clearly from our home and it has many caves where our ancestors have painted pictures from long ago. From sunrise to sunset, the light makes Uluru look like it's changing colors, reds, purples, browns, and oranges. We love looking at our mountain because we know that it tells the history of our people. Our stories are called dream time and they've been passed down from generation to generation since the very beginning of time. I would like to tell you about our favorite story and it's about the rainbow snake. In the dream time, the earth laid still. Nothing moved, nothing grew, it was all bare. One day, the rainbow serpent awoke from its long sleep under the ground. She traveled all over, and wherever she went, she left large marks creating rivers where she moved and lakes where she slept. She returned to the place where she first woke up and called out to the frogs. Hey friends, come out, come out, she cried. The frogs came out slowly because they were full of water. As the rainbow serpent tickled their bellies, the frogs laughed and laughed and let out all their water. Running across the land, the water filled the rivers and lakes. From the water, the grass and trees grew up. After some time, the animals awoke. They followed the rainbow serpent and were happy. They collected food in tribes. Some of them lived in rocks, some of them in trees, and others lived in the air. The rainbow serpent gave them laws to live peacefully and there was plenty to eat for everyone as long as they took good care of their precious land. I hope that you enjoyed my story about the rainbow snake. If you ever get the chance to visit Australia, perhaps you will come to Uluru and see our magic world for yourself. Best wishes to my friends at the Rainforest Art Project. Gilly. Thank you, Jilly, for that wonderful and magical story about Australia. We've learned so much about your beautiful part of the world and now we want to learn more. Well, here are some fun facts about Australian snakes. There are 170 different species of snakes in Australia. A hundred of them are venomous, but only 12 snake species in Australia have venom strong enough to hurt you. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> Snakes are carnivorous, which means they like to eat meat. Snakes can see, smell and hear. Although their eyesight is quite poor, their other senses are magical. They can taste smells with their tongue. Isn't that cool? Snakes can't chew their food, so they have to swallow it whole. How fascinating it is to learn so much about Australian culture and one of its most curious of creatures. I love the Aboriginal folk story. Okay, kids, this is Lauren signing off with the Rainforest Art Project. I look forward to seeing you next time. Changing the world, one piece of art at a time. <laughs>